Hi everyone, welcome back to my video on modules. This is part two. In part one, we looked at modules themselves, which were just files with Python code. Um, in this video, we're going to look at packages, which are collections of, of modules. We look at libraries, which are also collections of modules, but geared to a functionality. Think of them as tools. For example, Pygame is a library, and it's a tool to write video games. Uh, Python comes with its own inter internal library. We'll look at that also. And that allows you to import um, tools such as Calendar and Map in Python. And finally, we have frameworks. An example of a framework in Python would be Django. Django is a framework to develop websites. Um, the difference between a framework and a library is a framework is defined by someone else, where a library is a tool that you import and you use. So um, I get asked these questions a lot of times because these terms are thrown around interchangeably. So we're going to just decipher them in this lesson so we understand what's available. So as I mentioned, a Python package is just a collection of files or modules in Python. And to install them into your system, you would run the pip command, which is the package installation manager for Python. It comes with Python. So you would run that from the command prompt. We'll go through that in a second. And the main repository for our packages is the Python package index, which is found at pypi.org. And all the packages are there, and you can search and download whatever you need. So this is one of the main project repositories for Python. You can search for anything you want here. We're going to search for a, a, a simple game called Gallows. And we'll bring up the game here. It's important that the project has a description. This, pro this game was written by someone called Vijay Kumar. And the instructions on how to install it and how to run it. So um, we're going to install this game with pip. Uh, you could uh, download the file and copy it into PyCharm, but it's probably the most recommended ways to use pip. So back in PyCharm, we uh, right-click on the, the editor to go to the terminal. We type um, gallows, um, and that should install the package, which it does. And to run it, we simply type gallows py. And I have this information from the project description on the uh, Python uh, repository. To run that, and you can see we have a little hangman game, and we can guess letters. So you get the idea. We downloaded a piece of a package from the uh, repository, the Python repository. We installed it per the instructions of the description of it, and, and we ran it. And, and that's an example of how we can download a package in Python. So the install libraries is very similar to installing the uh, package. Um, how we use it, though, is, is different. The library we're going to use is called matplotlib. Um, it's a library in Python to plot data points on a graph. So we also uh, install matplotlib in the, uh, with pip. So we type pip. And that will install our, uh, our library. That's done. And once that's done, we can import the library into our program. So we import matplotlib. Um, we covered this in the last video with, with different ways to uh, import. PL is just short, so we don't have to keep writing it. We're going to create two uh, lists here, um, one data point, one more data. So these are just two uh, lists to plot on a graph. Um, if we plot this, again, this is here, the alias and plot, and these are uh, the, the syntax from the matplotlib library. And if we run this, we should get a graph. And we did get a basic graph. So this is an example of what we can do with importing libraries. We simply imported the matplotlib. We created two sets of data points, and we run the syntax of the library, which was simply map the data points and the line width, which we could change. And with this basic amount of code, we can create a data plotting uh, application. We can create charts. So this is the power that lies in importing libraries and, and modules. So the last thing I want to discuss are the libraries that come internal to Python. Python comes packaged with its own set of libraries. You can find them over here on the left under uh, 3.7 under external libraries, or you may have a different version. 
Um, but if you expand these, you'll see some of the libraries that um, <clears throat> Python has, and there are many there. Um, some of the most common ones are calendar and random. So for example, random is a, is a internal library to generate random numbers. If we um, run that here, we can uh, generate a list of random numbers between one and zero. So it's for one in 10, it'll be um, 10 numbers and print random, random integer, um, one to 10. So to get the format for these libraries, it's best to go to uh, the Python page. I'll put that on the screen, but that's the best place to go and find out information about the syntax and how to run these libraries. So if we run this, we get 10 uh, random numbers um, as so, and we can also use the calendar function. And we, in, we have to import both of these similar to before. So if we run this, it'll um, print out the month of October in 2018. And there you go. So that's very handy when you're writing programs. If you want to call a date or if you want to work with date, there's also another internal library called date time. So this is, this is here to help you code. Uh, most likely anything you're doing, someone else has done it. So check the libraries first. Um, check the, the documentation on the Python library. Or what I often do is just simply go to Google. There's tons of help out there and type what you're trying to do before you go down the path of doing it because most likely someone has done it and done it well and you can use that by simply importing it. So finally, you can also um, find out what a function or what a library does <clears throat> by printing out the DIR of the library. So uh, DIR Matlib, for example, will give you um, all the functions and functionality of that library. You can also just simply uh, type the name of the library and put the period after it, and it'll give you a context list of all the functions and uh, variables that are associated with that uh, library. So that's one other way of finding out what you can do with a library. So that covers the basics for libraries, modules, and packages for Python. We didn't cover frameworks, but we will later. That's a little more advanced. The idea of this video is to give you a general overview of how everything fits in so you understand. Um, if you want the code for this uh, video, please go to my website at pythonforadultsandkids.com. Please don't forget to subscribe and share if you like this content. And thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.